What is up, Karatix? So Rockstar has done it again today, September 28th, 2023. They have nerfed the Gaio Perico Heist for a third time. So the first time they nerfed it was about a year ago, and they gave it a massive cooldown of two and a half hours if you completed it solo, or 48 minutes if you completed it with a friend, when this heist used to not have any cooldowns at all, and they had also slightly adjusted the secondary loop payouts to make the payouts a bit more consistent throughout. Then about 9 months ago, the second nerf they did, where they tried to make the heist more difficult, where guards would be alerted for seeing dead bodies of other guards. This one wasn't too bad as honestly it made more sense this way. Now it was a bit annoying at first, but then the community got used to it pretty quickly by utilizing different routes and killing less guards. But now for the 10th anniversary of GT Online, Rockstar has gifted us a third nerf by reducing the payouts by 30% in this heist. So Rockstar claims this is basically to help balance the payouts of the wide range of things to do in game. So they're basically saying the Kayo heist is OP compared to other missions, so please go do something else in game. I honestly strongly disagree with this as there's always going to be something in game that pays better than something else. That's why gaming communities strategize and find methods for every heist and business in the game. If not, it wouldn't be as strategic if everything was paying roughly the same amount. But anyways, Rockstar didn't provide us the full details on percentages of the affected targets, but Tez on Twitter did break it down for us, so big shout out to him. So firstly, the setup fee used to only be 25000 each time you started up this heist. Well now, it's actually 100,000, which is a 300% increase. Continuing to primary target payout changes, the Madrazo files, which you get during your first time playing it, and the Pink Diamond, which is the rarest and highest paying one, those two have not been changed at all, so I guess that's good. However, the other ones that we usually get, you know, the ones that you see like 90% of the time, the Tequila, the Ruby Necklace, and the Bearer Bonds, have all had their payouts reduced by 30%. Even the safe cash in El Rubio's office, which is usually a nice little bonus, has also been nerfed as well with a lower minimum amount of 20,000 rather than the old 50,000. Continuing to secondary target payouts, gold, which you normally only get if you play with a friend, has remained the same, but all the other secondary targets they have had their payouts reduced by 10%, which is pretty wild. So you start adding this up, and you're going to be making an average of almost $500,000 less per Kyo heist if you do it solo, which is pretty insane. And lastly here, they've actually reduced the chance of getting the Coke secondary loot, which is the best one, by another 10% as well. However, if you play it with a friend, they've actually increased the chance of getting the Coke by 60%. So maybe it might be worth doing the scoping mission with a friend and saving those secondary loot spots every time. That could possibly be a bit of a method there. But anyways guys, those are the changes. It definitely seems like Rockstar's trying to push the community to not do this high solo anymore, which is kind of a shame. But honestly, even if you're doing it solo, it's still one of the best paying heists in the game considering how long it takes. And again, the fact that you can do it solo. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of Rockstar's excuse of trying to quote unquote balance the payouts of events and game throughout. But of course we all know the real reason we're doing this and that's because of shark cards and possibly maybe even holding back certain uh, percentage increases of these payouts through GTA Plus. That's another possibility which I hope they don't do but it seems likely. I guess we'll see. Anyways guys thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.